Hello people. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a mirror to your world, as well as a camera that you can pick up and buttons so that you can turn them off for yourself without affecting other people. Back in Unity, I've set up a simple scene here. First thing I'm going to do is add a mirror to the world. So go down to the asset area and find the little search bar. Click it and type in mirror. Find the prefab object, which you can recognize as the one with the blue cube. Take that and just drag it into the hierarchy. Move it around and scale it however you want. And at this point, you have your mirror. If you want to change what objects are shown in the mirror, you can do so by editing the reflect layers here in the script. By default, all the layers are selected except for player local. While the player layer shows your model, player local is the one that displays your animation overrides. It also removes your character's head, so be aware of that. Up to you if you actually want to enable it. If you want to make your mirror cheaper to render, you can do so by turning off everything except the player layer. And this will make it so that none of the environment and other objects will be displayed as well. Next, let's add the camera and screen. I've already created a scan and a camera, but the uh, camera here only consists of a cube and a cylinder. You can use whatever model you want, but I'll just keep this. So the first step here is to right-click this new camera game object and add a new camera. Uh, I'll change that so it's facing the correct direction here. And then next, delete this audio listener as that will be unnecessary. Just as with the mirror, you can change what layers are rendered, but I'm going to leave it as everything. So if this is going to be a stationary camera, you can actually change the far plane to move it so that you only render what will be within view. Another thing is you can change this here near plane so that you can bring it closer to where actual lens is on the camera. Now let's create the screen. Go into the hierarchy and deselect the camera, right click and add a 3D object and find quad. Now position it however you want. I'm going to make it similar to how the mirror is over there. Now this is going to be two. As I said in my earlier tutorials, hold control and you can move it by one meter increments. Ten and four. Next, let's go into the assets area and create a new render texture. This is going to be the texture that the camera will render onto. And let's change the aspect ratio here to match that of our screen. And then drag that onto it to create a new material. Next, go into the camera here and then drag this render texture into the target texture field. With this, we now have a stationary camera rendering to the screen. But I want this to be a pickup one. So I'm going to go to this parent game object here and add a new component, DRC pickup. And then I'm also going to add a VRC object sync. This will make it so that everyone will see it at the same position at the same time. And last, I'm going to add a box collider to make it so you can actually pick it up. Actually, it's a little too small. Change that too. There we go. While all of this works, people might complain about bad performance in your world. Typically, worlds will have the mirrors and cameras turned off at the start and then give you buttons to locally turn them back on. I'm going to use a 3D cube as our button. Scale and position it however you want. And then let's move it out of that. Add a component, VRC trigger. Go to on interaction. There it is. I'm going to change the tooltip to say a toggle mirror. Click this little plus sign, basic event, set game object active. With that open, click this plus sign, find the mirror object, drag that in, and go to this drop down and click toggle. So now it will allow us to toggle it, but it's still set to everybody. So I'm going to click the advanced mode, and then come here to local only. And now we have a button that turns it on and off just for us. So now let's do the same thing for the camera. To find the cube, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, and to move it over one. Still says local, change this to camera, drop this down, and drag the camera in there. And while it's not necessary to turn off the screen, it will show the last thing that was rendered on there, so I'm just going to turn it off as well. 
And there we go. Enjoy your new avatar testing world, and thank you for watching.